Okay, so we're going to make some tulips and um, we have the Holland, which is the smallest of uh, the three of them, the Turkish, which is the medium, and the parrot, which is the most dramatic and one of the most popular parrot tulips or tulips that um, we have. The Turkish and the Holland tulip actually are the same um, when you make them. They're, they're the same procedure. So we're going to um, demonstrate how to do them um, side by side. And then we're going to reserve the parrot tulip later on after the, uh, the both tulips are done. So I just have like um, a chartreuse green um, gum paste here that I'm just trying to condition. So in my measuring cup, I'd measure about fourth to the largest. So this, so that amount of um, of gum paste, I would say just a tad bit larger than uh, a green pea. So make that into a ball and then press one side to form that into a, a teardrop shape, like a long um, elongated teardrop shape. So after I'm done with it, I'll take a 26 gauge flora wire. I'll take my needle tool and form that into like a tight open hook. Like so. I'll brush that with a little bit of gum glue. And wipe off the excess. <clears throat> and then I'll insert it on the narrow end of my teardrop. You don't have to go all the way, probably halfway through. There we go. Just close up the end by pinching it and rolling it until it closes into the, uh, the the wire. So after you're done with that, I'll go and take my angled tweezer and pinch three equal like notches right on top. And kind of like press it down so it's nice and long and with the three notches so you just let this dry for 24 48 hours on a foam pad and you end up with something like this and um, I'll take my white gum paste, just a tiny piece of white gum paste. I would say about one, two, three, four, five. Uh, fifth to the largest, fifth to the smallest. I'll take that and make a something like a rice um, a rice shape. And I'll take my 26 gauge wire, brush it with. You don't have to hook it this time because this is just really really narrow. make that into like a sausage shape and then I'll brush that with a little bit of my gum glue wipe off the excess here I have this is a combination of purple black and um, purple and black petal dust and some cornmeal and you just shake it and uh, until it forms into like a, a black sand and I'm going to dip my 
my pistol into that um, that mixture and then just let it dry you have to make at least five of this per flower and so here I have the ones that I've dried earlier it can get messy a little bit just be careful so I'll take this and my half width floral tape that I'm going to stretch so it releases the uh, the adhesive. I'll take I'll take one by one and then just place it side by side with the center, the same height as the uh, as your green center, and then I'll uh, take that end of the uh, the floral wire and wrap it all the way to where the uh, gum paste begins. There we go. And so the next one. So one, two. Just make sure that they're evenly spaced. Okay. And some of it will come off. That's that's okay. Just after it's dry, it's gonna be fine. And the last one. One, two. So just make sure that they're evenly spaced on your on your uh, center and then after everything is um, set then I just take my uh, floral tape and cover up the rest of the stem and it doesn't have to be perfect because later on you're gonna add your petals and you're gonna cover that up again so just make sure that you space them evenly. So this will be the um, the center of your tulip. So I'm gonna start with some pink gum paste for my Holland tulip and. The Holland tulip, all the tulips actually has, as you saw earlier, it has two part veiner. So what we need to do is basically cut it first and then vein it. And that's true for any um, two part uh, veiner. If you have a two part veiner, then you cut the gum paste first before you vein it. And as you can see, I am rolling my gum paste to where um, the bottom part of it is thicker than the rest. That way I have um, a space later on to insert my floral wire. So I have here my my cutter. And I take my 26 gauge floral wire about two and a half inches. Cut that off. And because it's long, I would still make a hook on the uh, floral wire. That way 
it doesn't spin after it's dry because there's a tendency of the uh, gum paste to spin when it's dry if the petals are longer than usual. So I would take my, um, my forefinger and my thumb and insert that right into the middle about a quarter of an inch thin. You don't need it anywhere longer than that. And as you can see, I try to make sure that the, the, the wire is actually um, in between and it's not protruding in both, uh, both sides. And um, after you've done that, you want it to pinch the end so it doesn't come off one, once the uh, gum paste is dry. So I'll take my two-part veiner And the uh, narrower end is the uh, the bottom, so I'll take that and press. And I'm using the uh, the heel of my hand to press it firmly. Take it out. Don't take it out from the uh, wire end because it will tear and it will uh, the wire will come off. So take it from the uh, gum paste side. All the way out and this will not uh, the common misconception is that if you have a two-part veiner that it will dry the uh, petals in shape but it doesn't um, I have a lot of students who are looking for a hydrangea veiner that has two part and we used to have that but we changed it because it tears the gum paste so once you done you've done that you can just thin out the edge. If you have that fuzzy, I don't know if you can see it, but um, the end is actually fuzzy. You can take the back of your your nail and just run it through. Or when it uh, dries off, it, it actually snaps pretty pretty easily. So you can just clean that out. And I'm just gonna thin out the edges like so. This Holland Tulip petals doesn't really have much of a movement to it. So I'm just going to thin that out and I'll take my, this is a, as you can see it's an egg shaped uh, flower former and I'll take that and dry it in place. So for each flower you're going to make six of these. So here I have six of the petals already that I dried earlier. And assembly is so easy. You just take the um, the center that we made earlier, and I'm going to take the petals and bend it at a 90 degree angle so it's nice and straight, and take that and put that at the very end of where my center is. I'll take my half width floral wire. Again, I'm going to tuck it in and secure it with my forefinger so my, my other hand is free to just wrap the petal around all the way to the very end of where the gum paste and the wire uh, meets. And as you can see, there's no wire that's protruding there. You want it to be covered as much as you can. So I'm going to take three petals. And every time I take a petal, I wrap it twice with my floral tape. That way I can let go of it and it will stay where it is. And another one. And as you can see, I actually bend the wire. Don't bend it from this side because you have a tendency of breaking that petal. So you take that. the petal to where it's nice and close. Let me take another one. Don't forget to stretch your um, floral tape because that releases the adhesive of it. If you don't, then it will not. It all it should just stick to itself. 
floral tape should not stick to anything else but to, to itself. It shouldn't stick to your fingers or anything. One time I made a boo-boo and bought one like that and it was just such a mess. So the second layer of the petal, as you can see, I'm putting it right in between the first petal that I did. So it's like alternating. And voila. So after I've tied all of the, uh, the petals uh, uh, base, so you have to cover the rest. And how I do, do it is I uh, pull my uh, floral tape and put it on a 45 degree angle so that when you twirl your flower, it actually covers the stem thinly instead of covering it there we go and that is your finished flower finished tulip you can even uh, make this as close as possible you can make the uh, petals a little bit closer and appear make it appear like it it's closed but I like to show the inside of it as well For the parrot tulip, we're going to start with some purple gum paste. Mm, purple and um, tulips actually comes in a wide variety of um, colors as well. You can do pink, white, whichever um, you prefer. And so I'm just going to roll this just like how I did the uh, Holland tulip. It's the procedure for this tulip is exactly just the same as the Holland, except that it has a different cutter and veiner. So I'm, I'm rolling my gun paste to where the bottom part is thicker than the rest. And I'm going to cut it with my cutter. You see, I, I, I normally depress it and then shake it a little bit. That way you get a really clean cut. I'll take a number 26 uh no, actually, this is a number 24 floral wire because this is a long petal, so you need um, a floral wire that is um, thicker than a 26, so a 24 would be good. So I'm going to make it into, I will make a hook. This is a closed hook. I don't need it to be open, but this is a closed hook um, wire that I have, and I'm going to brush it with a little bit of my gum glue, wipe off the excess, and then I'll take my petal and insert that into the petal. Again, this is just about a quarter of an inch in, and with your fingers in between the petal, in between the, the gum paste, you can actually kind of feel where it's going. And uh, don't forget to pinch the bottom as well when you uh, after you've inserted the wire so I'm going to take this um, gum paste and put it right on my veiner and press I'm using the heel of my hand and I just do a rocking motion back and forth so I make sure that um, the rest of my petal is, is uh, veined so there you have it. So again, don't take it out from the from where the uh, wire is. Take it from the top where the gum paste is. Because if you take this, it will rip off the gum paste and you will have to start all over again. So I'll just take that and put that right on my foam pad. And I'm going to, this one has a little bit of movement. So when you're using your uh, ball tool, I, I normally have it where... Um, I hold it like a pen and just depress put pressure on the pedal and you see all those movements are created and you want that movement not so much though just a little bit of um, of, of a flounces would be would be good so after I'm done with that I'll take my my um, egg my large egg former and put that in and then I'll let it dry like this for about 24 to 48 hours. I'll make six of each of these um, for per flower. So just let it dry. 
and once it's dried up like this, I would use a little bit of my Bordeaux petal dust. And you can see the uh, veining that goes through it, so I will just follow that. I would dust a little bit on my um, on the edges of it just to give it a little bit of a of a darker edge like so and then I would follow that veining as well with my with my dust And I'll do the same on the back. And you can dust this as heavily as you wanted it to be, but at this time I'm just gonna try to accentuate that those um, grooves that I have there. So just so you can see the detailing of the uh, of the petal. And you can always shimmer this with a little bit of pearl dust as well. That way it's even if you don't um, dust it heavily with the petal dust, I like to shimmer it with a little bit of pearl dust. That way it's nice and dewy looking. So I'll make six of these per flower. So I have here six of the uh, the petals that I've already dried up, and assembly is exactly just the same as the Holland tulip as well. So I have here the pre-made um, center that I have, and I'm gonna put like three of these petals again, just like I did the pe the. Holland tulip. So I'm going to stretch my half width floral tape. And I like to use half width. It doesn't make my stem too fat or too stocky. And I would wrap it all the way to the end to where I couldn't see. As you can see, I, there's no wire that's protruding there. I'm going to go to the next one. One, two, and sometimes because, like I said, this petal is too long, um, it's okay that it still moves, and it's actually not going to move until you are still not going to stay until you've uh, covered all the rest of the uh, the petals or the wire, the stem wire. So after I've put in the first three of my petals. Um, the next one I will put in like right in between where the uh, where there's a space between the first three that I put in so I'm just gonna wrap that up I'm just going to wrap it all the way. I can get another fresh batch of my tape. And I'm using a, a ribbon shredder. It's made by, a, a, by Gem. I just love using that. Of course, if you don't have it, you can just cut, cut the uh, floral tape in half. This is my last petal. So every time I start with a new petal dust, I just basically tuck that in and hold it with my four fingers. That way my other um, hand is free to, to wrap it as tightly as I need it to be. So after you've wrapped the, all the base of your petal and wrap it as much as you can hide the, uh, 
the stem wire. If not, you can actually just take all of that and pull it, tug it in. So you can hide as much of the, uh, the wire as possible. Okay, I guess I'm good. Am I good? You can even use your long nose plier. There you go. Okay. And then just hold it at a 45 degree angle and wrap up the rest of your stem and just make sure that none of those wires are seen. So that's the finished. You can display this on a side so that you can see the, the side of the flower or a more dramatic way of displaying this flower is like opened like such. And that's your finished flower.